All right, just so I have everything correct, if I can get you to say your first and last name and spell it for me. Amanda Falk, and it's A-M-A-N-D-A, and then F-A-U-L-K. All right, and what's your title? I'm the Deputy Director for Family Services for the State of Alabama Department of Human Resources. All right. You feel kind of that black cord there. Feel kind of tuck um, it. Let's see where and I can. And the uh, mic should actually be. Feel this turn way? it up. Yeah, and then just flip, flip it on. Just kind of hide the cord there. Yeah, I did my best. I think it sort of falls. Yeah, that's not. That's gonna tuck in my shirt. Is there like a better way to do it? Um, Maybe this. No. You, you, you have the right side. You have it. Just it. Was tucking you, in my shirt, and I didn't want it to yeah, do the wrong just, thing. Okay. That worked. Okay. All right. So, are you um, are you working on the the Blount County case? I can't give any specifics about any about any certain case. Yeah, she wouldn't be able to tell. I'm, I'm sure that we're all looking at it, but. The okay. counties handle the investigations. Okay, and let's talk about the investigation process. You know, walk me through what happens, or what happens, or why a child is removed from you know family home. So generally, um, you know, the department would get a report of concern from some individual or a mandatory reporter that has concerns about the child's safety. We would go into the home and assess the situation, and if we find that the children are at imminent risk of, of harm, then we would remove the children via a petition to the court. Um, or we can do sometimes a summary removal, but then that process, the court has to approve that summary removal within 72 hours. And once that's done, is there a way for the parent to get the child back? Um, yes, we always work with our families. We uh, per do permanency planning for all of our children and so who are in care or not in care. And um, we work with the families towards providing services to reduce those risks and raise the protective capacity of the family so that the children could then be returned home safely. So there are cases where the children are removed, they're given back to the parents, um, and from there is that you know, is that ever a, a concern, you know, because the children were removed for a reason? As a department, we provide services in order to, like I said, reduce risks and raise protective capacities. And so we as a department would not recommend placing children back in a home where we felt like the risks outweighed the protection. Um, but we don't always make that decision. That decision is generally made by the court in that county. And so, um, you know, that's, that's who returns custody to the children because that's who um, oversaw the process of their removal to start with. And just speaking generally, um, is it usually the case where, or you can tell me if this is a high risk or a low risk, where a child is removed from the home, placed back into the home, and there's some type of harm or something done? What are, I don't what are understand. The, uh, so, like, you know, we always hear of these cases where, you know, DHR has removed children from the home, they're placed back into the home, the, ch the child is hurt or unfortunately, you know, killed. Um, what are, what's in terms of, does that, is that an often occurrence or is that a low occurrence? Or do you know our, our, our repeat maltreatment right, numbers? Yeah. I mean, they've been low in the past. I don't know what they are this year, but it, I mean, at one time they were the lowest in the nation. I was going to say, I know that they're below, they're generally below the national standard, but I don't know specifically what they are today. So you would say that it's generally not a risk if the child is placed back? It's not common. Yeah. I mean, no. And most of the time when children are returned to the home, they remain safe. And that, that's that's yeah. the answer. And a lot of times yeah. we keep services in place while they're in the home after they've been moved back, but not all the time. Okay, that's the answer. Then. And, and we do follow up for a certain amount of time. If the children are returned by us from our custody to the home, we do keep them keep services in place for at least three months. Sometimes we keep it longer, depending on how long the risk remains. You know, again, we're always assessing risk versus protective capacities, and so we're always providing services to reduce those risks and raise those protective capacities. And so sometimes children, you know, sometimes we find that the, that the parents are stable enough that we can end our services, and sometimes we need to have them ongoing and have a more of what we call an in-home case rather than a foster care case. Anything else you think we should add? Oh, not on camera. All right. If you want to turn it off, I, I'll tell you something. Okay, so we were talking, kind of explain the process of um, DHR when it comes to placing the child back into the home. 
So there are a lot of different scenarios um, that would go into that. Um, the, again, the court ultimately makes the decision to return child, return custody to a, to a parent because the department doesn't have the right to, to make custody decisions, only the court does. Um, so if, you know, the DHR only makes recommendations. So we might recommend that the parents are not ready to have the child placed back and the court might overrule us on that and place the children back anyway. In that situation, we would try to continue those services with the parent to, again, try to raise those protective capacities and lower those risks as best we could. Um, there are some situations in which a, a relative might petition for custody. We do a home evaluation. We find that that relative can meet the needs of the child. The children, the court orders that the children are placed with that relative, custody goes to that relative, and we would close our case because we consider the children to be safe at that point. And um, and then, you know, there are in instances in which parents or, you know, go get their children from those relatives, and we wouldn't know that unless the parents filed formal custody, so then we got notice of it or somebody made a report to us that these children had gone back to their parent without the permission of the court. Work.